Hello Junkies, Horror Junkies 509, Kyle 13th coming at you again today you guys and welcome you right back in front of the mask wall. Hasn't changed, but hey, I got a lot of good reception uh, from sitting in front of the mask wall, so as long as I'm going to do a mask video, hint hint, I might as well as be sitting in front of the mask wall. Uh, but first things first, I want you guys to know I am using my first uh, tripod with the little circle light thing. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of the light. I still have the lights on in the room, and so... Uh, this is kind of what it looks like. Let me go turn the lights off and see if it looks better. Uh, I want you guys to let me know what you guys think is, looks better. So, here's with the lights off. And so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I do have some different modes on this thing that we can use. And so, let me go with this mode real quick. So, this is kind of like a softer light. I don't know. What? Let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to go back to this one because... I think it's kind of the one that I like the best. So uh, it's definitely going to show uh, that I have no pigment in my skin whatsoever. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what you guys are here for. <laughs> but like I said, let me know down in the comments if you guys have an opinion. Uh, because I'd like to know uh, the best setup. Because I'm trying to make sure this uh, new setup works. And I definitely knew I knew needed more light. So I already mentioned that we're going to be doing a mask today. I wasn't planning on doing this mask yet, but you know, I kept getting some comments about it, people wanting it, and so, you know, when there's some demand, I'm gonna do that video. And so, with this being said, don't think I'm dragging my feet on doing the uh, the room tour. It's coming. I still have not gone to Walmart and gotten the little hangers to hang up my autographs, my figures, and stuff like that. I have pretty much everything done except for that. That's the one thing I need to do, and then I can do my room tour, and I wanna do that for y'all. So trust me, it's coming. I'm not dragging my feet. I'm just being busy and lazy, I guess. You can say that if you want. I just hate going to Walmart. I don't know about you guys. But I kind of need to go because apparently there's a horror, potentially horror sex stuff at horror, <laughs> a horror section at Walmarts now. I don't know if it's at our Walmart or not, but I guess I got to go to find out. But what are we going over today, you guys? Holy cow, I've said a whole bunch of stuff and none of it is for the video. <laughs> so... I'm going to be going over the new updated version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, the remake mask from Trick or Treat Studios, you guys. I've been really excited about it, and this is so far the only updated Texas Chainsaw Mask I have. I'm thinking about getting the part three, uh, but because the really long hair, is, it drives me crazy, but I don't know. I really haven't decided yet, but I know I was going to get this one, and if I get three, that'll probably be it. I'm not going to rebuy every single one of these masks because I feel like the original releases were just fine. Yeah, the updates look good, too. Uh, but I feel like I can live with these ones. But this one and the part three were kind of for sure. But uh, what are the updates on this one, you guys? So we did get a new paint up, and I will be comparing it to the old mask. So don't worry. We got a new paint up, and we got some new hair on it, you guys. So they really kind of updated it, uh, gave it a lot more hair. Uh, the original one was really, I, I feel like the hair looked good for the mask, but the hair was awful. It was pasted on, and uh, there wasn't enough of it in my personal opinion, but I felt like the hair, like the way it was kind of laid, it looked good. Uh, but this is definitely a lot of steps uh, above. I do, I do kind of feel like it has like a comb over. So like this is Leatherface, like going for school photos for school or whatever. I'm sure he never actually did that, especially with this face. But you know, that's the, that's what I'm kind of thinking. We got a school photo uh, Leatherface, but I can't deny it. I absolutely love this update, you guys. I think it's phenomenal. And uh, if you guys are on the fence about it, I say definitely get this one for sure. Because just this paint up alone really brought it out for me. I love this mask and I think it looks absolutely great. Um, I can go ahead and show off the original one. So this is the, this was the paint up. It really kind of had more of a skin tone. And this one has a lot more of a rotted, dead skin look. I guess I'm going to go. You know, that one has more of a darker wash, which I think really helps. And so like this hair, like, you know, I think like it kind of worked for what it, they were going for, but it just there wasn't enough of it. They definitely need to update it, but it's the same mold. You know, they didn't change any of that stuff. It's just the paint and the hair, and all this hair is pasted on. And so we get to go ahead and talk about this one. Go ahead and get it off of the stand there. And so this stuff is all stitched in, if you guys can see that. So this is, you know, definitely going to be a better uh, mask if you guys are on the fence on it. Like I still love this mask. I think it's a great mask, and still this. This uh, mold is one of my favorite of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre masks. So I really don't have a whole lot of new things to show you on this mask other than the paint and the hair. Uh, but we're going to kind of go ahead and do this just for, 
you know, the people who have not seen my old video, but if you haven't, get down on my history, you guys. I will pr probably try and put it in the description. Pretty good at forgetting that. And then don't forget to, you know, check out the Horror Junkies 509 hat at my T Public store. Don't forget, it's in my intro, so. Uh, and I will always make sure the link's in the description. <laughs> Back to the mask, yeah, but you know, we got the remake, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 remake, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003 remake of the original. Uh, this is just, uh, it's called the Leatherface. Uh, this was sculpted by uh, Scott uh, Stoddard. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. And then if you ever need to know how to prefer, uh, take care of a latex mask, uh, so there's some good information on this card. So that's the trick or treat ticket. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a good look at this detail. All this stitching, you guys, is molded in. None of it, that was not changed or anything like that. Uh, it's not kind of like the, uh, uh, the Tex Chainsaw Massacre 2 mask where it has actual stitching into it. Uh, the, all this stuff is just molded in. And then which side of the head is it? Still has the stitches going down the back of the head there. So it's all still there. It's just, you know, so, so much more hair. It covers up a lot more. But, I mean, still all there. They didn't take anything away. Uh, they didn't uh, add anything new just except the paint and the hair. So don't think it's the same exact mask. Uh, a lot of the details still there. We kind of still got the mouth, some more stitching, you know, the kind of uh, over lip here and then more stitching the eyes and then this one kind of a little bit wider opened the ears are still there and uh, you know overall I this is like I said one of my favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre masks period out of the whole thing I know we're getting some new ones so I don't know if that'll change uh, but currently I'm gonna say probably not uh, but I, I just gotta say I, I do dig the, the new hair on it and like you know we got some different color in here so I think that's really neat if you can see that which I think with my new light, you're seeing a lot more stuff than you'd normally do, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this is the mask, you guys. Let's go ahead and give her a try on and uh, see what we think. I'm expecting it to fit exactly the same, but I guess we will uh, find out. All right, will I make a chubby cheek leather face? I don't know, and if I do, it is what it is. That's what you guys are, you guys know me for. <laughs> see, make sure I get this on properly. All right, here we go. Leatherface, remake, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 2023. Oh yeah, this thing still fits great. I love that. <laughs> but I feel like he's got the comb over, like he's he's gonna have that uh, uh, school portrait foot uh, pose. <laughs> that may have just made the thumbnail. I'm not really sure, uh, but. Let's get in the character. Yeah, so I think the neck hole, it's, it's a little tight, just kind of like the original one. Uh, but once you get in it, it, it's pretty comfortable. So I actually really, really love the fit of this mask. But, you know, if you wear it for a long time, you sweat in it, yeah, it'll be a little bit harder to get off. But that's normal latex issues. So I don't really have a bad thing to say about this thing. I love the new color. I love the whole thing. I think it's a lot more screen accurate than the original one. The mold is screen accurate. It looks great. It's just the paint and the new hair really kind of adds a lot to it. Uh, you could definitely style the hair more accurately instead of <laughs> the school photo hairstyle. But uh, that's it, you guys. That's what it looks like. Ugh. Yeah, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and bring out the other one so you guys can take another good look at it. So I don't think the uh, fit is any different. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and try this one on. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this one because when I did my big Texas Chainsaw Massacre ranking, you know, I was, I was putting all the masks on and off and I was getting pretty sweaty. 
And so this one did uh, get compromised just a little bit. And so I, it's definitely fixable here, uh, but it makes me nervous to, you know, to put this thing on and off again because I don't want to continue to wreck it because uh, since I got this one, I don't know if I'm selling this one. I know there's some interest in it uh, if you guys are, uh, but I just want to make sure if you guys are interested, uh, know that this is a thing. And so you can fix it. I'm not much of a fixer, but if someone does buy it, you know, uh, it's something that's there. I'm not going to hide something that's wrong with it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try this on carefully to see if the fit is the similar. Let's see if I can do this without causing any more issues. Yeah, I don't think the fit is any different. I think it's exactly the same. Uh, but you know, still, this is a good mask. So like, if this is just something you prefer this skin tone, I think this is still re highly recommended to get uh, and keep. Or if you guys are not wanting to do the update, you can't really go wrong. I mean, you're gonna look good either way. Just get yourself a chainsaw and it really just, you know, no one's gonna mess with you. <laughs> Always gotta have the chainsaw, right? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can carefully get this off again. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I made any more damage to it, but you know, if, if you guys are interested, uh, let me know. I do have someone here that did kind of ask for it first, and so I will kind of get with him and see if he wants it. Uh, Still haven't officially decided if I'm getting rid of it yet, but it's, you know, I'm not much of a mask seller, but as I, as I get more masks, I gotta, I gotta start letting go of a few. It just is what it is, but, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys in the loop, but if you guys have interest, please let me know. All right, you guys. So what am I going to go ahead and rate this mask? I honestly don't remember exactly what I rated the original one, uh, but this is only a step above just cause the paint's even better. The hair is much better now. Um, as far as having any complaint about this mask, I mean, I really don't think I have one anymore. Uh, I, could they do better? Yeah, maybe, but off the top of my head, I really don't know exactly, uh, what they could do Whoops, to make it any better. You guys saw a blooper. That's all right. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a nine out of 10. I absolutely love this mask. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I would love to give it, give it a 10. Um, you know what? Let's give it a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this mask. It is one of my favorite Leatherface masks. I love the remake. I am probably just a fanboy at this point just because I absolutely love it. But, you know, the mold has always been great. The paint up's even better now. The hair is great now. And then I really don't have a single complaint I can even really mention about this right now. It just looks great, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10 and a solid. And that's going to do it for my little, uh, I guess, my review slash, you know, uh, comparison to the, the new and the old mask you guys I will do more if I end up getting more of the masks but I'm gonna try my best honestly not to uh, not because I don't want them just because make sure my chainsaw is not busted still works all right but that's gonna do it for this uh, review slash comparison you guys uh, the new mask definitely 10 out of 10 for me gets a solid groovy without a shadow of a doubt the original one was great too, but the paint up and the hair is just better now, you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this mask. Let me know what you guys think of the new lighting. Uh, you know, is this going to work for you guys? Are you satisfied? Uh, did you like the lights off? Did you like one of the other modes better? Because uh, I think it's got, I, I can do colors as well, so I'll probably work with that a little bit. But, you know, this is like the uh, fluorescent light one. Then we got this one more of a, uh, I don't know, normal lighting. And then this setting as well. I it definitely makes me almost look like a little tanner. I don't know if you guys like that. Uh, but like I said, let me know down in the comments because, you know, it, this really is up to you guys because I want my videos to be nice for you guys to look at as well as being entertaining. And I'm kind of a dork anyway. So, you know, I try to do that the best I can. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Horror Junkies 509, Call 13, signing out just until next time. You guys already know it. I've been sentenced to life. I, <laughs> I am a horror lifer. You guys. Have a killer day. Stay bloody. And you guys, I'm starting to see signs of actual Halloween merchandise out there, you guys. I'm getting excited. And uh, stay tuned, you guys. I got a lot of new stuff. I got props, figures, and stuff like that. Some different videos coming uh, that I haven't done in a while. I'm working on another, uh, my next um, haul video. So I'm working on another stack of movies. So that'll be coming. 
I got it all here, you guys. It's just, you know, I can't do it all at once. But stay tuned, and I'll be back, as always. Don't forget to have a killer day.